hearse. Gotta fix my hearse. So we got the cane broke. And he's all pissed off and he's gonna go to the the walking stick place. Put away your Odile Chuck. We made his platypus stink, and that's what pissed him off. Still here, are ya? an almost imperceptible crack in it. Looks like high quality wood, though. Not for long, bitch. Those little buggers sure know high quality wood when they see it. Freddy, my new kind of better be ready. Oh, it sure is, Mr. Mandrup. It's right uh, over on that bench there. Creepwood? Thinking of buying a walking stick of your own, are ya? Oh, it might make you look more distinguished. <laughs> Quite like a monkey like in a hat. <laughs> yeah, those are funny. Okay. Hey. Hey. Put it on my bill, Freddy, and don't even think about overcharging me, or I'll own ya. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. Showcase. I'm back. What do you want now? You're through, Mandrill. I can prove that you framed me. Let me guess. You found Pegnose's booty showcase. Yeah. And what did it look like? I thought the piled shag was a bit much. Oh. Your bluffs are more transparent than Lassipede Bay. Lucky for you, I still haven't divined the secrets of the ultimate insult from the Marley heirlooms. Go check on it. Go check on it, Ozzy. You turd. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. It's a good thing he's so gullible. Follow that trail. That turn my trail. Damn it. I look away for one second and he can't walk to the door. Good thing I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. Now, where did that Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, there he is. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. I'm on Nazis. Hmm? This ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. The heirlooms must be nearby. I had the urge to type, look. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. 
it's not so shallow here. I can just make out the bottom. It's really deep here. I can't see the bottom at all. Just a strange, murky darkness. It's really deep here. I can't see the bottom at all. Just a strange, murky darkness. They're very tropical. Very tropical. Deep water. Look at trees. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared oh, to. Oh, good. You can go there. Look at booty. What an odd collection of junk. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much valuable stuff in here. What kind of twisted freak keeps the skulls of his victims lying in piles around his showroom? I bet he wasn't hugged much as a child. Classic Pegnos. Ick. Dirty dishes. For a master thief, Pegnos is a real slob. Seems like there's a button. Use the button. Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot and the Marley Heirlooms. I gotta find a way to get in there. Hmm. Wow. Wonder if Elena will let me have one of these. The bank booty and the Marley Heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Well, hell. How I break an unbreakable window. Yeah, sure. I'll just break that reinforced glass by banging my head on it. That'll certainly mess up the carpet. This button practically screams push me. I already opened the drapes. Duh. What do I got? Do I got things that would break things? That would weaken things? No. I ain't got shit of use. Ick. Dirty dishes. For a master thief, Pegnos is a real slob. Yeah, sure. I'll just break that reinforced glass by banging my head on it. That'll certainly mess up the carpet. I don't know, bro. Ugh, no way. Who knows where these skulls have been? Other than inside somebody's head, I mean. No, I'd probably get busted for possession of stolen property. Can we just... Wait a minute. Isn't there a knife? What was that? Hold on. Hold on. I've got plenty of tables at home. There's gotta be something else that you push or something. I'm not picking that up. Oops. I already opened the drapes. Nah, I wouldn't want to get tipsy in here and accidentally break something expensive. Mm. There's gotta be something else in here, right? I don't see anything else here. I can't get back there. Something with one of these skulls. Nope. Talk to Skull. Murray? Guess uh, not. Okay. I had that thought. Did you look through the window? I, I looked at the window. I see that that's the stuff that I need. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing in here I can pick up. He doesn't want to pick up booty. Pick up that skull. Well, I've already got a skull. That's all you need to do here? Okay. Do I just tell the guy that I found the stuff? He seems so lazy, I couldn't imagine he would just go. Is 
there something out here? It's pretty shallow here. I can see the dirt on the bottom easily. Mm. You need to get it yourself. Okay. Oh, dive into deep water. I That wasn't available earlier. Hmm. It's too dark to see. Oh, great. It's... Something. It's too dark to see. Give me them fish. Come here, fish. I need you. Yeah, great swimming animation. Wish those fish would come over here so I could see something. Oh, hey, I got some bait, though. Come here, fish! You turds! I'm gonna drown over here. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Hey, he stole my bait. Oh, maybe I need a way to keep the fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, I put him in a Tupperware. I think I gotta go get more bait now, right? How do I get the hell out of here? Good thing it's not a Sierra game, yep. How do I get the fuck out of here? I have no idea what that is. It's too dark to see. I'll go get more bait. You don't think the bait is necessary? Really? They just gotta come and I gotta trap them in my Tupperware? <laughs> is that correct? I don't think they'd like that. No? I don't think the fishies are gonna just swim into an empty scupperware container without some incentive. Mm-hmm. Need some bait. Guess this walkthrough sucks. Realistic to fuck it up. <laughs> there, now my bait will stay fresh. There we go. Mighty pirates. Indeed. He doesn't. He doesn't swim very good. He kind of. Uh, he sinks like when Rocky tries to swim. She's too dense. <laughs> she sinks like a stone. Fun facts. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Where did this game crash for you on PS2? Uh, I think we were on a different island. Something touristy. It's 
So I, d I don't remember any of this. Or, I mean, I remembered some of it, but enough to this to feel like a very new playthrough. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Glad you had to pick up each of those individually. Hey! Something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Put that in your pants. That's Pegnose's showroom over there. It's beautiful. Anything else in here? Probably not. Look! What a strangely shaped stalactite. Totally, pants of holding. I'd better not. Need that starfish or that rock or any of that garbage? Eh. There was something diving. I think there was a problem. There was on the the touristy island. There's some sort of diving thing. Wait a minute. Where am I going? Here. I think that's where it broke. Stay out of trouble. No. That's, you gotta listen to me, bro. I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you didn't steal it. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Well, then, perhaps we should give it a try. Oh, still you. Look at them fingers. Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. Well, let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit. Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you! Well, all right, then. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? Oh, you Done paying your debt to society, Otis? Ha freaking ha. Time to make sale, shipmates. Thank gods. I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. Boo. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ship's ready. Okay, good. Ninja vanish. All right, mateys. Stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. 
I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. We were. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. Some bullshit. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, uh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. Then I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yikes! No, now, my dear Mrs. Marley. Threepwood. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie. Um. I them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service! Enough of this inane banter! I've got an election to win! <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell it's everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them! Shout it from the rooftops! It will only ensure my victory! And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. Is this what I'll Trump's bring been the doing? Forces of hell to the shore of the, the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. <laughs> All right. Man, the... Uh, I'm confused. 3D model about what? Bad. How can the Chuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? <laughs> Let's, hide the Let's hide in the mansion until this whole thing blows over. That's not very heroic, dear. But it's so unheroic, it just might work. I've got a better idea. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion, which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Or whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But... Have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. Voodoo lady does always this know everything. This is what it's like being a first lady. <laughs> Guybrush is the first lady. Snookums. You pull? Ah, Guybrush. I knew you'd return. How can I help you? 
I see that you are finally ready to ask me about the ultimate insult. Yeah. What would you like to know about it? I sense that you want to know what the ultimate insult is. Good guess. The ultimate insult is the most coveted and dangerous voodoo item the world has ever known. More coveted and dangerous than the indescribable terrors of Big Whoop? Twice as coveted and five times as dangerous. Yowie. What does it do? It is a powerful talisman that allows its owner to spew incredibly foul insults. Insults? That's all? I thought it would be a potion that turned people inside out or something. But these are no ordinary insults, Threepwood. These are insults spoken in an ancient, forgotten tongue. Insults so vile, so emotionally crippling, that they transform even the fiercest of pirates into an egoless mass of goo permanently. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. If the insults are in a forgotten language, how come they're so dangerous? Wouldn't that have the same effect as insulting me in Finnish? You'd think that, wouldn't you? But the language used by the ultimate insult is so ancient that it's rumored to be the primal language, the tongue from which all other languages arose. Amplified by the voodoo magics of the ultimate insult, this original language has the power to speak to the very heart of a person's soul and mock it into oblivion. Whoa. Indeed. I see that you want to know how to make an ultimate insult. That would be useful. Sadly, I have no idea how to make an ultimate insult talisman. That's strange. You've always seemed to be the master of all things voodoo-like. Yes, Cobalt. but the ultimate insult was outlawed dozens of years ago in the aftermath of a terrible battle between two ultimate insult-wielding hoon guns that shattered the egos of an entire chain of islands. That's awful. And bad for business. As a face-saving gesture, the united voodoo workers of the Tri-Island area agreed to gather up and destroy all known copies of the ultimate insult recipe, lest one ever be assembled again. I see that you want to know where to find the makings of an ultimate insult. It would be good to know where to start. As I said, the instructions to build an ultimate insult have been destroyed. Game over. However, I seem to recall that the individual pieces of an ultimate insult can only be found on one island. Monkey Island? Mm, no. Too obvious. It was some other island entirely. Unfortunately, this island's name has also been lost to the vagaries of time. Hmm. Very well. I sense that you want to know the connection between the Mali heirlooms and the ultimate insult. Stop doing that! But you're right. This chest contains Grandpa Marley's heirlooms. This one in my pants. According to Grandpa Marley's letter, his wedding presents to Elaine hold the key to assembling the ultimate insult. But there's so much stuff in these heirlooms that it's hard to separate the presents from the junk. Ah, I sense powerful voodoo forces at work here. Weddings, nuptials, bands of gold. Reveal to us a gift that's old. Hey, a pair of earrings. Lacy veils and prenups too show us the symbol of something new. Ooh, a necklace. Bridesmaids tinged with jealous sorrow bring to light a present borrowed. A pen on a chain? What kind of present is that? One heart beats where once were two. The final gift is something blue. Oh, the final gift is something blue. Is something wrong? Yes. There should be a fourth wedding gift in here. A blue wedding gift. But my mystic senses detect nothing. Maybe it's still on Luker Island. I don't think so. My voodoo instincts tell me it's somewhere on Melee Island. How curious. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have any idea where I can find the blue wedding present? Only that it's somewhere on Melee Island. What am I supposed to do with the wedding presents? If Grandpa Marley was telling the truth, 
They hold the key to finding the ultimate insult. But how? If it were me, I'd find the woman who wore those earrings. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. I think I remember <laughs> where these go. Hey, Elaine, darling? What is it, dear? I'm kind of busy right now. What should I be doing now? I talked to the voodoo lady about the ultimate insult. Well, what did she say? She said it was an ancient voodoo talisman capable of permanently shattering the souls of pirates. Yikes! Huh. No wonder a couple of warped cretins like LeChuck and Ozzy want to get their hands on it. Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. Sold. Is that gonna be something else? Whoops, I didn't mean to go in the door. Is none other than the demon zombie ghost pirate LeChuck. Oh, she's she's canvassing the neighborhood. Yeah, the earrings go on the ship. I wanted to see Scumbar. I think, yeah, they, they fucked it up. Pictures of Grog. They've done something horrible to the scum bar. Welcome to the Lua Bar. I'll be right with you. Oh, bueno. Those are some bizarre looking drinks. No thanks. Give me a grog over this stuff any day. Pardon me. Yes? Do you know what they did to the scum bar? Scum bar? What's that? It's what this place used to be before they redecorated it. It was dark, dingy, smelled like grog gone bad. Sounds disgusting. <sighs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> it's like the 04 lounge. You aren't from around here, are you? Does it show? When I travel, I try not to look like a tourist. I like to really get to know the place I'm visiting. Then this is the wrong place. You should be down by the docks, working the ships, drinking grog. It doesn't sound like much fun. This is plenty authentic enough for me. <laughs> Thank you. It's... What's good to eat here? Do you yeah. like sushi? Authentic. I'm sure I wouldn't. You need to ease into it then. Order something that isn't raw to start with, and then work your way to the good stuff. Good stuff? I hope by that you don't mean the stuff that looks like it lived in the bilge of a ship last week. Ooh, the unagi. <laughs> That's the best. Thanks for your time. Sure. Alright, we'll go to the ship. I'm sure we have to be here later. Better than Outback Steakhouse, I suppose. I don't mind Outback Steakhouse. I saw something shiny. Hey, there's a quarter in here. Do I need grog or do I need this quarter? I'm gonna save the quarter. But I probably need grog. Not again. You couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous inanimate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. <laughs> well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. 
Much more than some grog like swilling nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you recognize that voice, but it's the voice of Bobby Hill. It's uh, Pamela Adelon. That's why I remembered the earrings, because I the voice was very memorable to me. Um, figurehead lady? What? What? <laughs> what horrible abomination of nature gave you the ability to talk? Damnedest thing. I cross tax with some old sea hag of a ship. How was I supposed to know she was carrying a cargo hold of voodoo root? So, a bunch of mojo crap fell off her decks and I sailed right through it. Next thing you know, I'm talking. Like you care anyway, squid for brains. You look kind of familiar. Perhaps you've seen me in your nightmares. <laughs> That's my no, ship. I don't, I don't know think you. so. Yes, you have. Watch this. I'm the king of the world! Woo! Ah! Stop! That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. What's with the surly attitude? You'd be surly too if you're screwed to the stem of a ship. Good point. Wanna be my official ship? Wanna be my anchor? <laughs> No, I guess I don't want to be an anchor. Well then buzz off, son! You're blocking my view! Did you mean that in the literal sense or the figurative? How's this for clarity? Make like a jellyfish and dry up on the beach! I'd make a better captain. How long were you a bellhop before you got promoted? How about dropping this subject, toilet brush three full? What else did we get? Do they all go on her? Those things really don't go together. Okay, I guess not. We got a pin on a chain. Okay. hooks yet. giant clam rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated not to much you celebrated what oh nothing <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my humble loft old friend I'm looking for something called the ultimate insult I could use your help how can I help I don't know man do you have any idea what the ultimate insult is not a clue maybe you should ask the old voodoo lady she's good with stuff like that all right I did that. I'm looking for Grandpa Marley's fourth wedding present. Why? Because it'll help me find the island of the pieces of the ultimate insult. That's funny. Why? Many years ago, when I was a child prodigy using conventional watercolors, Grandpa Marley hired me to paint him a map of the Tri-Island area. He said it was going to be a wedding present for hey. his granddaughter. Unfortunately, he left for Australia before I finished it. Where's that painting today? I don't know. When I began working with wax, I painted over all me old watercolors. I just couldn't stand looking at them anymore. I think I covered Marley's map with some sort of landscape. That's all I can remember, though. Do you still have it? Oh, no. My waxy creations are sold faster than I can produce them. Marley's map could be anywhere by now. Darn. Curses. I think I'll plumb this ultimate insult mystery on my own. OK. Anything else? I thought we could catch up on old times. Like what? How did you and Carla and Otis... Escape from Monkey Island. Same way you did, of course. On Herman's hidden pirate ship? Herman had a ship? That jerk never told us. I, uh, guess we didn't escape the same way you did. If you didn't use Herman's ship, how did you? Escape from Monkey Island. I 
don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. No. Whatever happened to your parent? You mean the beast? Oh, he died. Hunger? Loneliness. A parent without someone to talk to is a sad parrot. Do you still do that thing you do? I don't know what you're talking about. Talking you know, tattoo. that funny thing you do. Come on, do the funny thing you do. I still don't know what you're talking about. You know, that thing you do with the talking and the face. If you don't want to do the funny thing, just say so. What are you talking about? You know, the thing with the tattoo. Ow! Oh, you mean this? Hello, guy brush. That's it. Achoo. On second thought, I really don't have time to reminisce. Fine by me. What do you want to talk about? What's with all the candles? I use them to create me art. Your art? I didn't know you had an art. Oh, yes. As a child, I was one of the foremost watercolor painters in the Tri-Island area. See? Here are me old paintbrushes. Nice. I love painting, but after I lost me hands in the accident, I just sort of drifted into piracy. I didn't really like being a pirate, but what else could I do? I was a painter with no hands. No hands. So how did you end up painting with wax? Well, after me traumatic experience on Monkey Island... Sorry. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate no more, and resolved to return to the world of art. Well, to make a long story short... Too late. One night, I discovered that I could create paintings from the wax drippings of coloured candles impaled on me orcs. Since then, I have been known to art lovers everywhere as Meat Hook, Master of Wax. That's the silliest story I've heard in hours. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. Thanks. Can I have these paintbrushes? Do I need these paintbrushes? Is there anything else in here? What vibrant colors? I'm not picking that up. I'm not picking that up. Can I go upstairs? A box full of grenade canisters! Don't be silly. Those are cans of special colored wax. Oh, I knew that. Nah, I prefer watercolors. And finger painting. More fun than a barrel full of, the uh, wax. He sure does have a lot of barrels full of stuff in here. Is there nothing up here that I can get? Shocking. All right. Oh, wait. If I need wax or paint, I'm assuming I gotta get it there. Remember. Good afternoon, citizen. I'm Melee Island Governor Elaine Marley. Can I get here? What is this? Nothing door. When in doubt, go in the kitchen. <laughs> So the Lord, you are not allowed back here. Close the door before I whack you in the noggin. Sheesh, grumpy. Excuse me. Why, hello. Great getup. Why, hello. What do you mean, great getup? Whoa, you look really authentic. 
Just like a, you know, a real swashbuckler. Do you work here? No, I am a real swashbuckler. My wife's the governor. I'm a mighty pirate captain. Whoa, you really get into character. What's good on the menu? Uh, I like everything. Really? That sushi stuff looks pretty gross if you ask me. Well, don't tell anyone, but <laughs> I don't like it either. But everyone else is eating it. And, you know, after all, isn't that what real pirates eat? I've heard the flaming scuttlefish is the way to go if you don't like sushi, though. Did you know this place used to be a real pirate bar? Really? More than this? Oh, yeah. They had real grog, real pirates, and real fights. Whoa, sounds great. But, uh... What's grog? Uh, never mind. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, thanks. I'm telling you, I'm going to drink grog one of these days. We'll figure it out. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? There's a painting on the wall. Hmm. The style of this painting, it seems very... Meat hooky. Just watered down rum. There's some sort of mechanical stuff under the water that's making these boats go. Mm. Ah, how cute! Little itty bitty boats floating around carrying itty bitty pieces of something that appears to be edible. There appears to be a minuscule meal set on this silly square shaped tray. Excuse me, miss. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? What happened to the scum bar? Oh, we're under new management now. We've done away with all the pirates, swill, and wenches. Ew. <laughs> but I liked the pirates. Ew, gross. Nobody likes real pirates anymore. That's so last week. But I liked the swill. We've replaced that old swill with family-friendly fun beverages. We have quite a selection. But I like the winches. I mean, they, um, made it so authentically piratey. Our decorators went for realism without the fright. They insisted that we replace the winches with totems and bamboo. Drink sales are down, but we can turn the lights on again. Excuse me, I have customers waiting? No, no, I want to order something. Excuse me, miss. They add rum to water so it doesn't uh, get stagnant. Can I help you? Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Ooh, I think I remember something. It's gonna come on fire. Here we go. Oh, too late! Guy brush! Darn. The chopsticks were too weak. They just snapped right in half. No. Oh. Uh, paintbrush? Is it coming? Okay, it's still on fire. Seems like a bad idea to serve it this way. better move before he sees what I did. I don't think I got it close enough. What in the name of I will? Uh -huh. Here <laughs> is the problem. Some smarty Alec has jammed the box. So help me if I find out who this is. Uh, oh wait, I can get back in the- fuck. I should have went in the kitchen! What a seriously. Feet. There was a pause. I didn't realize. Did he leave my paintbrush? Yeah. It's 
Probably like right when it gets behind the totem. Ugh, it's like the same spot. <gasps> Mon Dieu, not again! Mon Dieu! Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. Something in the kitchen that I need. Oh god! Ah, blue. I do not understand! Why do the boats keep stopping? Damn it! What These controls are the fucking worst! There? Just run straight! Uh, let's see, what do I need? <laughs> Smells like my laundry. Do I need this boat for something? No? I don't want to get fish stew stains on my pants. Pineapple. Pick it no, up. I've had enough citric acid for a while. I don't know. What do I need? What do I need? It's gonna be back here any minute. I don't think I'll be baking any pastries anytime soon. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Sacre fool! What are you doing in my kitchen? Looking for a menu. What are the specials? Out! 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 Oh, maybe... It's like not hot enough or something. You son of a bitch. <gasps> oh, Mom, you not again. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. I better s uh, sit. And then I can... Sacre bleu! I do not understand! Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? Mmm, warm. wonder what kind of yummy goodies are baking in there. Are we going to do with this? Hmm, brass monkey. Brass monkey, monkey. Again. Hmm, brass monkey. Brass <laughs> monkey, monkey. Oh, pick up rat. Ugh, no way. Who Come knows on. what kind of crevices it's been in? Hmm, brass monkey. Brass monkey, monkey. That was an accident. Why do you still molest my kitchen? Uh, I think I lost my tour group. Get out of my kitchen! If you know what I'm doing wrong, other than missing the boat, tell me. I'm gonna sit. I need an item from the kitchen. <gasps> oh, Mon Dieu, not again! From outside, okay. Uh oh, I better move before he sees what I did. I wanted to melt the painting! Blue. I do not understand. Why do the boats keep stopping? Just, just wait what here. What are these brushes doing here? Curses. Am I supposed to do it again? This paintbrush seems pretty solid. Okay. 
There's got to be something else. It's got to be hotter. Something. I don't know. What do I need? What do I need outside? Do I need grog? It's the only thing I know of. Oh man. Okay. I'll go get grog. Does Melee really want an agent of the undead legions of heck governing its fiscal policy? I think not. Machine. What? Uh. Ah. Ah. Give me back my quarter. Oh. I've already got one. You're just gonna leave a camp pile of grogs? Infinitely? Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? You're so bossy. Excuse me, miss. Um, uh, miss? Can I help you? Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Frog is basically what? better move before he sees what I did. We gotta break the thing. We gotta break the pump. Sacre bleu! I do not understand. Why do the boats keep stopping? What are these brushes doing here? With grog. No, not drink. No, my grog. Sushi, you know. You might as well mm -hmm. take it. It is of no use to me now. Thanks. <laughs> it's of no use to me now. Something blue. And now... I think we have to... Paint team. Now we have to go to the dock.
Give me more grog. Never know when I need grog. You son of a bitch. That won't appreciate the painting like I do. Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hand. <laughs> okay. I think... Uh... Does this... Yeah. I don't think that would help anything. I don't know what the necklace has to do with it. I think she... She won't take it. She won't take it. I need something to write on. Wait, was it, is it, does it matter what order I give her these things? Um, figurehead lady? What? What? Never heard of a voodoo talisman called the ultimate insult? Sure. What of it? Do you know where it is? No. Do you know what it looks like? No. I've heard it can emasculate the toughest of pirates. Really? Are you sure you've heard of it? I've never heard of your stupid Ultraman insult <laughs> play. Ultra I was insult. just yanking your chain hard. Oh, scrub off now, would you? Okay. Uh, there's something. There's something with the pen. I don't know. A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. <laughs> Bobby's a little, a little nicer than the dainty lady. <laughs> What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? <laughs> I just Say, really like Hey, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Threepdorn. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. <laughs> Jambalaya. Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you, walking around like you've got a bow spread up your... Hey, what's this now? <laughs> what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of yeah. name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. How do I get this figurehead so. to teach <clears throat> me her ways, right? right? Aren't you forgetting something? Clean underwear? Clean underwear? Thanks. I almost forgot. You're welcome. No, you forgot <laughs> to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. Well. I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! Oh, ungrateful. Uh, Mr. Cheese, wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? <laughs> Where'd be the fun in that, Captain? Cry havoc and let's drive. Release the Kraken! Not in the face! Not in the face! For the ship, 
cannot stand the strain, <laughs> Captain. You cannot stand the strain. This was only supposed to be a three-hour tour. There's all kinds of references in here. Spittle Island. I didn't see that before. Well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky theme restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. Micro groggery, a planet That's three. It's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and um uh, guard the ship. Okay. We are such success this evening. Thank you for being here. I uh will be doing Jambalaya Island things tomorrow. I blah blah blah. <laughs> Didn't know how to smell it. <laughs> Can't think. Got got quarantine brain. I will see you tomorrow.